Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan and today is April 21st and right behind me here I have a 2022 Taxa Outdoors Mantis Overland Edition. I'm going to show you guys around the outside, show you the inside and see what you have to say about the unit. So Taxa Outdoors, this unit is down in Texas, the United States. The engineer for this guy came from NASA. He was a NASA engineer prior to moving and becoming a Taxa Outdoors engineer where he makes all these different habitats as they call them. This habitat again is the Mantis and it is the Overland Edition. So with it being Overland Edition, we have a few more perks than that of the Standard Edition. Mainly the suspension system and a little bit more of a lift and bigger tires down here. Otherwise, this unit comes in at just 19 feet long weighing just under 3,000 pounds, coming in at 2,972 pounds. It's seven and a half feet wide. And yeah, as you can tell, it is a pop-up. It's kind of a beacon. When I first opened this, just about every car off the highway nearly pulled over here to see what this thing was all about. And now, let me show you. So, this thing sits on four manual jacks. You zip those down. You got two 20-pound propane tanks, a 1,500-pound lift right here. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the highway to my right here as people come ripping down Miller Trunk Highway this afternoon. Right here is your cassette toilet. Otherwise, you do have 20 gallons of fresh water and 22 gallons of gray water for washing your hands and taking showers, whether that's inside or outside. Speaking of outside showers, here is your outdoor shower. Right above your portable water fill, your exhaust for your Truma, heat, nice for your water and your furnace in the unit. Here's your 30 amp charge for going all your 12 volt appliances. And then if you wanna help charge the one, if not two batteries that you can put on this unit with a solar panel, you can plug it in right there to do so. Otherwise, you do have a 8,000 BTU air conditioner, which actually I forgot to pull out. You can do that when we get to the inside. Otherwise, when you're in transit, not using it, you pull it back in and you cover it up with this. There's your other freshwater tank fill, or your portable water, I should say, versus just having your city inlet. On the back side here, you'll notice up top you do have some Thule bars. So whether you're putting your kayaks up top or your mountain bikes, you can tie them up up there. And if you want to learn how to get up, just step on this little built-in ladder like so to get at those otherwise back here you do have a full-size spare tire again these tires are no joke if you want to take this thing off road it has the tires and the axle and the distance between the ground to do just that you got a nice little awning of a back door back here but i'm going to close it so when we go inside you guys can hear me a little bit better back to the show side again this is the overland edition comes in a little bit different color because of that as well. We have an awning on the outside here. Just roll that out, got a couple stakes. And we have outdoor lights as well. Now this is generally called, it's kind of like the serve window. So when you get in the inside, you can pop that out, prepare all your food, set it here. And if you don't want to jump in and out the door, you can send it right out that window. Otherwise, all throughout this unit, you'll notice there's places to hook things, whether that's carabiners or other things that hook to loops there are spots to do that essentially everywhere with this exoskeleton now on the inside this unit stands at seven feet ten inches so if you have a taller friend you'll be able to stand in here or when you get to this side stands at just 5 11. every window here you have a mesh netting so if you want to open it gets more natural lighting and you can do that and at the same time it'll keep the bugs out otherwise your windows have plenty of natural light coming in them even though there's a nice tint on them you have a day shade and then you also have a night shade for when you're sleeping in up front here so you can sleep about four campers in this unit right now this is a couch however if you want to sleep two more campers you can just flip this up tie it up with the carabiners on the side and there's even some storage underneath well that's where two of your campers will stay and let's say it's just two people and you're gonna sleep on the dinette full-size bed in the back you can flip both these up maybe leave the kayaks on the roof rack and put the mountain bikes 
in here. Speaking of which, you'll notice the floor in this unit is very easy to clean. So when you bring in your muddy mountain bikes, all you gotta do is sweep out what remains they leave when you take them out for your next adventure. Here is your wet bath. So this curtain will hang up from the ceiling when you wanna take a nice private shower in here. Otherwise I have that down right now. And if you don't wanna have the toilet will be exposed to yourself and your guests, you can cover it up like that for some more countertop space. Over here, here's the spice rack behind your kitchen. Here's that AC I forgot to push out. And you do so like this. Just gives you a little bit more countertop space right here. Otherwise, when you're actually using these appliances, you're just gonna flip this up. And here's your two burner gas stove top. Otherwise, your control center and your access to your Truma heat is gonna be down here. Here's gonna be your lights, more storage, some techie stuff. This is where your heat's gonna come from. Kind of voltage reader, and that's gonna be your breaker box. There's gonna be one of your storage towers, and here is your other one. Again, with some more controls to your lights, some more 12 volt fuses. And you may be thinking, man, it's kind of funny, it's such a big unit and they're using milk crates, but I think to myself, when have you ever seen a milk crate be broken? And the versatility of those is crazy because you can put just about whatever you want in there and it'll stay in there. See, it's also big. You got so many spots for those carabiners again. You could even hang a hammock in here. So there's a potential for a fifth camper. If you guys really, really like each other, it can be amongst each other for that long. Otherwise, this is a great spot right here for your cooler. Whether you have one of the nice Truma coolers that you can plug in and keep cold, or you has got a cooler with a bunch of ice to keep your beverages cold, that's where you put it. Here's your nice garbage can to move around. And as for back here again, this is your full size bed, but in the meantime, right now it's just your dinette. You wanna take that down, you just pull that. That slides over there. Actually, to take that back goes in between. Then you got another board I hit under there to make your full size bed back here. And if you want a good cross flow breeze, you can just crack open the windows, close the day shade, it work as a bug net. Or if you want to really sleep in, you pull that nightshade down and get the same effect. There's a couple of hidden nooks and crannies back here again to plug some things in, some devices, whether you're going to charge your phone or any other device, maybe your GoPro, you name it. But yeah, this is again the 2022 Tax Outdoors Mantis Overland Edition. This is for more of the extreme camper that really wants to get off the beaten path and get to their fun, exciting outdoor hobby. If you have any questions about this unit or would like to know more, please feel free to contact me, Tristan, here at Bullion RV at 218-336-3622. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. And if you really like this video, please subscribe and like. And I look forward to seeing you guys here at our dealership. Otherwise, take care. Bye-bye.